Let's take a look at this real options problem which deals with investment timing. It's problem 13-2. I'm going to read the paragraph you see on the screen there. The Carnes Oil Company is deciding whether to drill for oil on a tract of land that the company owns. The company estimates that the project would cost $8 million today. Carnes estimates that once drilled, the oil will generate positive net cash flows of four million per year at the end of each of the next four years. While the company is fairly confident about its cash flow forecast, it recognizes that if it waits two years, it would have more information about the local geology as well as the price of oil. Carnes estimates that if it waits two years, the project would cost nine million. Moreover, if it waits two years, there's a 90% chance that the net cash flows would be 4.2 million a year for four years, and there is a 10% chance that the cash flows will be 2.2 million a year for four years. And we are to assume that all cash flows would be discounted at 10%. Okay, part A says, if the company chooses to drill today, what's the project's net present value? And part B says, using decision tree analysis, does it make sense to wait two years before deciding whether to drill? Let's tackle part A first. And you see on the screen here, I put in all the information uh, that was provided in the narrative paragraph I read right there. Okay, so we're, cash flows are negative eight million, and then we're positive four million for the next four years. So let me slide to give us a little bit of room here. Um, actually, that's probably fine right there. And what we see is at an interest rate of 10%, we just need to enter the equal NPV function. Now you can either look down here or you can watch up here on the formula bar. And I'll go ahead and hit the little f of x insert function button, which will call up the function arguments. Then we'll pick the rate, 10%, and then the values. And remember, with net present value, you need to start at the end of the first year and then add in the current one. So you wouldn't highlight all of these because that would be that would get you an incorrect value. You start at the end of the first year and now you can, that would give us the net net present value and then we have to hit OK and add to it. Let me hit the F2. Add to it the negative 8 million that ha occurs right now. And as a result of that we have in round values 4.68 million would be the, N, the, the NPV or the net present value of taking on this project right now. All right, now let's tackle the decision tree analysis. And remember, what we've got to do here is apply decision tree analysis to the cash flow. So I've entered the probability right there and right here, right? Those are the probabilities. And then we've laid out the cash flows. 90% was going to be 9 million if we wait two years, then positive cash flows of 4.2, or 9 million outflow, but a 10% chance that they'll be 2.2. So again, we'll enter NPV. We'll give it the rate. Uh, let me hit my F of X button here. The rate appears in cell E28. So that brings down the function arguments. Then the values now. Now this is interesting. Um, since, since we don't have a cash outflow immediately, we can start with that zero. Unless the formula ignores a leading zero, and I don't believe it, it does. I think this will work. If we highlight from here to here, um, it assumes the first cash flow occurs at the end of the first period. So it's zero and then negative, and then the positive. So we don't have to add back anything to period zero because nothing occurs in period zero. Okay, and that comes up with three, uh, 3.56 million, and that's correct. Now we just need to copy that over, and we come up with a loss of 1.67 million if it looks like we're only going to generate positive cash flows of 2.2 million from this project. And then the last thing we have to calculate is uh, the expected net present value. And I use the word expected because we're involving probabilities. And all we've got to do now is take the 3.56 times the 90% probability 
plus the 1.67 loss times the 10% probability, and we come up with 304. And that's the correct answer, and that takes care of this decision tree real options analysis.